Hello, hello, hello. Welcome guys to the broadcast. For those of you who are coming through for the first time, you are more than welcome. For those of you who keep coming, keep doing what you're doing, I love it. Guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe to this content. You can put on your notification bell so that you're notified each time we post a new video. So guys, I've got a single out. It's called Hold You uh, by KJV. KJV is spelled K-E-J-A-V-U. You can also follow me on Instagram at KJV underscore live. K E J a v u underscore life so guys today i want to share the story about this young man who took his life and how the twitter community has linked it to lady zama mpumalanga high school kid bafana sitole grade 11 hung himself with his school tie in a classroom uh, this was grill high school a girl accused him of raping her and he hanged himself then later on the girl claimed uguti she was kidding basically there's a thread um under this there's his photo and it looks like it's a note that he left for his mom i don't know where he wrote it but it looks like it's in, it's in uh, there's social media platforms either whatsapp facebook and or so on uh, it's titled gone too soon mama i hope this letter finds you by the time you are reading this i'll be already gone let me love you and leave you Sing hambi le mina maye. I've suffered in this world all alone. I was accused by those who are better than me. May she forgive me for what I did to her. Godwa zanga ngimuzwengu le mina. I'm not a rapist. It's not spelled like that, but I'm reading it like that because I understand what it's saying. Maybe that's sindebele. Uh, I'm not sure, but I'm reading it as kosa ozulu. What did I do to her? Aze angzonde gangaga. I am gone. Bayasho abazi go uti umtlaba aunoni. My problems are now solved in a long peaceful sleep. May she live longer. Waba mina ngihulegile. May the good God not sympathize with her. May my soul cause a cloud of curse upon her life my soul won't rest in peace it was sent to death by those who said i'm a rapist mina nyesugelwe ngingonang bengekho enye into ebe kangayisho kunalena my heart of gold has stopped beating what was my fault no one knew this day would come i'm now leaving here in the darkest world and this guy will turn gray may my tears be golden memory in her life may she never find peace in her life i'll never rest till i get justice my life was robbed i thank you for teaching me a lesson even though it was too late Manj. No one believed me. Godwa nawe uyazi bengeke ngize ngiyenze into efana na lena mina. Thula mama ungasakhali sekwanele. Isikhathi sam besifikile. Ngisendaweni engcono manje. Ngiyazi ubuhlungu kodwa nezitha ziyajabula. Maukala, tula mama unasakali ujablise izita. Mina, owami umkoti ni uvulile ngapinde nga uvala. I fought my fight and I finished my race. Says pelile is katisam sogupila. Mama ngizulezi ngigutanda kulula inkizyo yako ngikulule nami ngihambe ngienda weni engono. I'm not leaving you alone. Godwa ngushia nabango no kuname. I know I've disappointed you. Ngi klazi le empagati I did not. I did not. Um, that's as far as I can read with this um, thread. So, ladies, I'm uh, interesting enough. Um, has been implicated to this. People are saying that uh, 
this type of girl who did this is a lady zama she's a type of a lady zama and people are taking her on on this and she actually responded uh, by writing i keep getting tagging i keep getting tagging on this it's terrible reading such no one should ever lie about getting raped rip to the young man afana sitole so obviously people are saying this because lady zama once opened a case against uh usjava it seems like it was a brief affair between the two of them that didn't go right um either as she claims Java raped her or she was bitter because Java probably had a hit and run with her and she didn't like it and she became bitter and she accused him of rape those are two possibilities because nobody knows what exactly happened but it seems like Java supporters are still angry at Lady Zama when things like this they remind her they tag her and it is very horrible guys because clearly these are young people that didn't get counseling um they took things too far the lady accused the boy and later on said she was joking now she's gonna have to live with this guilt she must go to her own counseling hopefully she won't commit suicide a very sad thing for the family but it is a very sad thing to think about that you know people can just uh, accuse people of rape um because they 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 are bitter and things are not going their way in their in their relationship or it's horrible that we have a pandemic in South Africa, you know, GBV, gender-based violence, you know, and rape is part of that, you know, violating a woman. Um, so this is a sad situation, this is a sad story, but it, it's interesting that people have dragged Zama, Lady Zama into this, reminding her of a situation that she had with Java. The case was never... Um, the, the case did not favor her. Uh, Java was acquitted because obviously there was not enough evidence. And people now have the liberty to say that she was lying. I don't know what happened. And I really am not accusing anyone of this. I'm not, I'm not going to say this, ladies. I'm, I really don't know, guys. Um, but the court case will not uh, arrest anyone if there's not enough evidence. And sometimes it doesn't mean that somebody did not rape uh, because there was not enough evidence. I'm not on anybody's side because I was never there. I, I'm, I don't know what happened uh, between Lady Zama and Java. Guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe. You can put on a notification bell so that you're notified each time I post a new video. Thank you for watching.